Greetings, loved ones. Welcome to another episode of Wednesdays with Wa. Is this correct? Yeah. Wa. My name is Abby, and I am the resident at the girl of Words Anonymous. If this is your first time, welcome to our series of uh, videos that we put out every Wednesday, wherein we share our tips, tricks, and whatever anything under the sun on our Words Anonymous channel. Yay! Hello! Um, this episode is all about how to deal with stage fright and what you can do to make the most out of your performance. So I recorded this episode along with my first Wednesdays with Y episode, so I might look a little bit different than what I do look like now but if you're still interested in finding out what the answer to those two questions are find out and watch after this really really cool intro okay so second question finally question number two okay so question number two is something na nakukuha ko palagi from people that they ask me about ate yun to tatanungin ako ate Ano bang gagawin ko sa stage fright? To be honest, stage fright never really does go away. Para sa akin, personally, hindi nawawala ang stage fright. Kasi sa akin, ang stage fright ay ang good indicator that I care about what I do. Kapag wala na yung stage fright, pag hindi ko nararamdaman yung stage fright, pakiramdam ko meron ng mali sa ginagawa ko. Here are some tips and tricks on how to, well, not get rid of stage fright, but at least manage, be able to manage your stage fright, okay? Usually, napapansin nyo, kung pag ng stage, merong ginagawa si Juan Mayel Severo na bago siya tumula, yung gaganto siya, bago siya pumunta. Or like, si M na titingin siya sa likod, or si Zuela na titingin sa baba, or si Luis na parang hihinga muna bago siya tumula or kung ako, hindi ko kasi alam kung ano yung ginagawa ko pero apparently meron din akong ginagawa yun yung mga klase ng ritual for you to get into that zone also bring yourself to the feeling when you perform part yun ang pagiging sincere mo in your performance na ikaw ay magpapasok doon sa zone papasok doon sa moment of your performance Ba- bago mo gawin mismo yung pag-perform mo ng spoken word piece mo. Before that, meron din usually mga pre-show rituals na transferring of energies and stuff like that, shaking off the excess energy that you can have, the nervousness. Uh, nakakatulong yung pag-vocalize. Yung pag-vocalize, kung naririnig nyo na Actually, parang kung papaano mag-vocalize sa mga tao sa theater na yung parang tinatapon nila yung boses nila, in-exercise nila yung throat nila, magandang mga pre-show rituals yan to get yourself into that performance mode. Kasi being in a performance mode helps you to be able to manage that stage fright. Nakocontain mo yung nervousness mo into and channeling it into becoming a different kind of energy. Another way for you to... Uh, help manage your stage fright is to create spills before you do your piece. So, kung napapansin nyo, madalas merong tanong na throw yung performer to the audience. That helps the performer to be able to connect to the audience. Kasi kapag meron kang madalas napapansin ko, personally para sa akin, na kapag meron akong connection with the audience, kapag merong at least one person in the room that understands how I feel, nakakatulong siya in managing my nervousness when I perform. So, ang ginagawa ko, madalas, kung papansin nyo, nagtatanong ako, if you've watched me perform, mahirap ka si Papa Jesus, unang-una kong tatanong ay, sino na ba dito ang nagmahal? Siyempre, napaka-universal experience. So, that's like a way of you connecting to people. Pero syempre naman, dapat yung spill nyo, hindi mas mahaba sa piyesa nyo, ha? Dapat very short, very clipped, lang just to connect with your audience. Do not make it too verbose, but use it as a tool for you to shake off the nervousness and connect to your audience. Another one is using power stances. Aware, kung, kung familiar kayo sa mga power stance, ito ay yung mga stand na parang 
power stance, I stand with confidence in front of the mic. Yun, nakakatulong yung nga pag power stance. Tulad nung sa elements of good stage presence na ang posture ay isang malaking-malaking element ng good stage presence. Nakakatulong din ang paggigamit ng power stance para matanggal yung nervousness and stage fright. Kasi ba diba, pag binigyan mo ng confidence yung sarili mo by just standing up straight, yung energy mo ay nag-channel ng maayos, nag-flow ng mabuti sa iyong katawan. Na hindi mo siya nilalock in na parang ay ang pangit ng stance ko. Ganito lang ako magpe-perform. So parang kapag ganyan yung kapag ganyan yung posture mo o yung stance mo when you perform, parang mas kinikip mo yung nervous energy mo to yourself. So by standing properly and by standing up, fixing your clothes, being the best version of yourself in front of the microphone before you perform that g- shakes away the nervousness and the stage fright connected to that what can we do about our stage fright is yung channeling and using that nervous energy into your performance kasi oo oh, hindi mawawala yung nervous energy as in kahit anong gawin mo meron at meron man yan kahit gaano ka pa ka expert performer kahit gaano ka pa kasanay that to all that you're always on stage papansin ko na everyone always gets nervous but you can use that nervousness and channel it into how you would deliver your performance or into how you would channel the feelings of your piece or to how you want to connect to your audience gamitin mo siya parang iniipon mo lang lahat ng enerhiya na meron sa katawan mo at ikaw yung magko-control kung paano mo siya ibabalik papalabas sa iyo. Yun. So that's some ideas on how you can deal with stage fright. So that's question number two. So now, dito na tayo sa third question. Third question is, how can I make the most out of my performance? When you perform, hindi naman buong gabi ay ikaw lang ang nasa stage. So you have to make the most out of the five minutes, ten minutes maximum that you are given on stage. First one, very, 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 very important part of spoken word poetry is rehearse, rehearse, rehearse. You have to rehearse your piece. You have to know it inside and out. Alam mo, dapat kung papaano mo siya gusto i-perform, kung papaano mo siya gusto i-share with the rest of the world. Kasi yan yung, isa rin yan sa mga part na makakatulong sa'yo how to be more confident, how to get rid of stage fright, how to have good stage presence, is if you rehearse it often. Madalas, kami bilang mga performers, ako personally bilang isang performer, um, hindi ko na ginagawa yung tulad ng ginagawa ko dati na kakatapos ko pa lang ng tula, ay ipe-perform ko na siya agad that same night na hindi ako nakakapag-rehearse or at least hindi na ako nakapag-rehearse at least once. Kahit isang, isang run lang. Kapag nangyari yon alam ko na na, ha, my performance will be shit. Sorry for using a bad word, pero putang na, shit. Meron mga ganun kasing klaseng moment na parang, ah, even if you wrote something very groundbreaking and wonderful and napakaganda ng poetry, pero hindi mo naman ni-rehearse kung paano mo siya ipe-perform, it still might sound like shit because people will not respond to it as well as if you had rehearsed it long, many, many times. And alam mo naman, meron niyang sinasabi na practice makes perfect. Pero alam mo yun, hindi naman natin sinasabi na kailangan perfect ka all the time. Pero practice does help in you perfecting on your way to perfecting your craft. Kasi all the more, spoken word poetry is number one, a craft. You have to work hard to get to where you want to be. So first one, rehearse, rehearse, rehearse. Second one. Memorize your piece. Ako, sakit ko yan, hindi ako magaling, magmemo- hindi ako magaling magmemorya ng piyesa. Dahil m- mahirap talaga magmemorya para sa akin. Pero I do my best to memorize my piece. As in, the first piece I've ever memorized, it took me, it took me three months. Three, three, three months to be able to at least perform it without a copy. Pero that wasn't me performing it well. Sobrang baku-baku pa yung performance ko niyan. Pero like, with rehearsal, I was able to be able to, you know, 
perform it in the way that I want to perform it. Na hindi lang yung, ah, sasabihin ko lang siya in the way that I memorized it. Memorizing your piece helps because if you memorize your piece at wala kang crutch na hawak na phone, like what I do all the time. I mean, like, pwede mo naman kasing gamitin yung phone mo as a tool for performance na hindi mo siya, hindi siya nakaka-block sa performance mo. Pero, when you memorize your piece, when you are able to deliver your piece from memory, duh, kaya nga memorize your piece. Ano ba, Abigail? When you're able to do that, mas meron kang power paglaruan yung piyesa mo in the way that you want it to. Pwede mong i-control yung feelings, pwede mong i-control yung emotions, pwede mong i-control yung lakas ng boses mo, yung hina ng boses mo, kung paano mo ipoproject, kung paano mo i-enunciate yung bawat salita. That comes with memorizing your piece. Number four, connect. Connect with your audience. Kasi syempre, when you are there, you are there to share a story. You are there to share an experience. You are there to connect with someone. Hindi ka na hindi mo naman ginagawa yung pagpe-perform just for yourself. Kasi kung ginagawa mo naman yun just for yourself, edi sana doon ka na lang sa loob ng kwarto mo sa harap ng salamin mo at papanoorin mo yung sarili mo na mag-perform na mag-perform. But when you go to an open mic and when you perform and you go up on stage, you are there to share the experience with others. So in order to make the most out of it, learn how to connect with your audience. So maaari kang mag-connect with them, again, with the elements of good stage presence. Pwede kang through eye contact, through through doing the spiels, through connecting with them through gestures and things like that. So connect, remember, to connect with your audience. Number four, this one is very, very, very important. So the fourth and final element of how you can make the most out of your performance is to relax. Relax, have fun, have fun with your piece. Kasi nandun ka nga naman to tell your story. You're not, alam mo yun, parang if you are there and you go up there with so much fear, mararamdaman yan ng audience mo. Ramdam na ramdam namin yan. Kahit na hindi mo sabihin na takot na takot ka. Or like, if you are there na alam mong sobrang uptight na parang, ah, ito, 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 ito yung kailangan kang gawin. No, just relax. Have fun. Tell a story. You know, connect with people. Because that's what you're there for naman eh. Hindi naman siya, hindi mo naman siya ginagawa na parang I am, dinuduro mo yung mga tao with your peace. But rather, you're telling a story. You're giving a piece of yourself. Might as well relax and have fun with what you do. Kasi when you enjoy what you're doing, it shows. And that, that kind of joy and that kind of love that you put into your work, will infect other people. And yung ganyang klaseng joy will kind of bring them into your circle and bring them into your world. Makakurious sila, wait, bakit parang saya-saya niya pag nagde-deliver siya ng peace kahit masakit, pero alam kong gustong-gusto niya yung ginagawa niya. That kind of attracts people into listening to you more. Okay, so that are... La, 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 la. Ano ba, Abigail? That's our... <laughs> okay, so those are the four elements of how you can make the most out of your performance. So rehearse, 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 memorize your piece, connect with your audience, and then lastly, don't forget to relax and have some fun. So any questions or comments about this episode or about any of our our other episodes, feel free to comment down below in the comment box down below. Or send us a private message. You can follow me on Twitter, on my professional Facebook page, or on through Words Anonymous. You can message, you can send a message, or through email, or whatever, homing pigeon. I don't know, wherever you want to send a message or a question, we will try our hardest to answer all of them if you have any. And do not forget, we have a book. Tuhingi katlong sabado. This book is actually finally out exclusively in national bookstore so i think zuela already posted about it that this is already out in national bookstore glorieta i'm sure the other branches of national bookstores will have them soon this is 185 pesos it is a collection of poems that we had so all of the members of words anonymous are in here um these are poems that we have done while we were still in Sevs and after because kaya siya tuwing ikatlong sabado if you're 
if you're curious about that because you used to have open mics that's where we uh, got together as a group and got to know each other every third Saturday of the month at Sev's Cafe we miss you Sev we miss you Mommy Ipat and Daddy Howie hey, love you po we also have a collab with Sud which is Skin uh, this is a collection of spoken word poems plus their music it is awesome. It is out. If you have any questions about these, please send us a message. If you want copies of these, if you want to know where you can get them, send us a message. Anywhere. We are everywhere. And again, this has been another episode of Wednesdays with Wa. Thank you, thank you, thank you for sticking around. I hope you learned something and stick around because next week there's another new topic that you're going to talk about. Thank you. I love you. You're important. Take care.